Cleanup is underway for people in state line communities after Wednesday's ice storm swept through. Grace Hodak has you covered on how neighbors are helping neighbors. After a full day of snow, freezing rain, sleet, and everything in between, it's time to get to work for people in the city of Beloit. I knew it was gonna it was gonna melt pretty much today, but still you got to do a little bit of cleanup and uh, I just did enough so people could get back, get by. Anthony Sipes has lived in the area for almost two years. He says breaking up the ice and shoveling the snow is heavy work, but he doesn't mind it. It's, it's healthy to get out here. I mean, I'm, uh, I'll be 63 in May and I just do it. I, mean, I, I like shoveling snow that keeps me healthy gives me something to do. Once Sipes is done clearing his own driveway, he moves on to the next because cleaning up after a winter storm takes teamwork. There's an elderly lady that lives right there that um, she can't really do much. So I um, take care of her shoveling for her. And Sipes isn't alone when it comes to the efforts being made. Staff with the city of Beloit say they've been working long hours to ensure everything is safe and open for the public. Not just public works workers, but also the police and fire who have been out there and all of the utility workers. It's you know a big effort to make sure everybody is safe. Whether you choose to shovel or plow the mess away, Sipes has this advice. We got to help out everybody out. You know, we're we live in America. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. In Beloit, Grace Hodak, 27 News. With all the downed tree branches, the city of Beloit is asking people to bring debris to the curb. They ask that it doesn't block the sidewalk or road, and they're coordinating efforts to pick it up.